Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can add this form and make our model billable. So now the time is to work on this form and add an extra field and then submit this to a controller and uh, uh, check that we are receiving the right parameter. Okay, so let me add another field here. So this field would be an uh, this would be a number you can say the number because we need to pass the exact number to a stripe so i will tell you that why we need the exact number okay so here i am also passing this amount and adding a class of form control so which is a bootstrap class okay i also add this so uh, maybe it's not going to work in the in this field let's let's check it so click on this uh, hot reload and it's uh, why it takes too much time okay this is added and uh, this is uh, this form control is not work on the class so let me add a br tag here and yes now it will display it on the next line okay and uh, i also i want to make this label at the top okay code holder name here this one give it a refresh and now now i'm going to uh, submit this form on our specific route so on which route so let me add this in the new line so here i need to also have br tags it will display it properly so i'm going to add a web dot go to the web.php file and here you need to register your use okay so i'm creating a group route uh, not going to group route I'm going to make this simpler I'm naming, naming this single oops, single charge right and then I'm going to create uh, use this a controller which one is home controller right home controller and then why it's not suggesting me so let's wait for a moment I want to add this at the top and yes it's added at the top and then we don't need to do this so remove this from there okay class and here you need to type your uh, method name charge you can say that it's a single charge okay let me name this so i'm naming this uh, so name this uh, single charge single charge okay save this one and uh, let's go to the form go back and here this form is going on this route right so i'm not going to do this so i'm going to add a dynamic route here so what is the route name single charge so this is the post route so let me make this post okay make this post and uh, this form having this post method so i'm going to send uh, submit this through javascript right so let's go here and here you need to uh, create your method it's a public function and uh, charge uh, not it's a single charge single charge and here I need to define the parameters and let me accept uh, some request and request oops request okay and uh, let me return these uh, requests to on these uh, all request okay save this one and give it a refresh uh, it takes too much time on the refreshing i don't know what's happening behind the scene why my pc is slow down okay so uh, click on this uh, 10 card holder name is diet niazi and uh, this one is uh cards we need to this is a dummy card so you can get these dummy card from the stripe documentation submit and it's uh, sun submitting it directly i don't want to submit it directly i want to send this through jquery so how i can disable its uh, auto refresh event so let's go here and uh, go to this uh, here you need to find add listener here so it's uh, passing this event and here we need to prevent it to refresh page refresh okay prevent default save this one give it a refresh so it will uh, this is the jquery function 
take your javascript function which will uh, prevent it to submit this form through html so i want to submit this uh, form through this javascript okay so this i uh, get this uh, from this uh, medium documentation so you can also get this okay so now let's click on this submit and check that is it uh, so still submitting or not and yes it's now not submitting so let's click on this 10 and here what is the name of this card holder and you need to add a dummy card here and some future fit uh, value and click on this submit and yes now it's submitting from the jquery okay and yes now it containing amount payment and payment method great we need these parameters so we are getting the amount and then this we need this payment gateway okay not gateway it's a payment uh, method token okay great we are receiving these values here so let me save them into the variable so it's a uh, variable name is amount and it's we are getting this amount uh, from this uh, amount field and uh, let me get this uh, payment uh, method it's a uh, payment uh, method and uh, here you need to specify your payment uh, method i don't know uh, what is the name let me uh, verify it from uh, yes it's a payment method i'm typing this all right in the right way and then here you need to specify uh, your uh, backend stuff so let me check the it's and yes it's still uh, it's not too long so i will do this in this video 